Welcome back to chemistry concepts and now let's discuss about reactions of disonium salt and first of all the very famous or the very basic reaction of disonium salt which is a name reaction also known as yes Sandmeyer's reaction okay what happens in this reaction that when a disonium salt is reacted with CuCl in the presence of HCl or we may use CuBr in the presence of HBr or similarly we can use CuCn in the presence of a K KCN okay. fine in that case we'll be getting the chloro compound like, th like in this case chlorobenzene plus nitrogen in this case we'll be getting bromobenzene plus nitrogen and in this case we'll be getting yes cyanide compound plus nitrogen okay this was actually sand maize reaction now with little bit change uh, if what we do that if we react with copper in the presence of hcl or copper then we'll be getting chlorobenzene a similar reaction nitrogen plus cox a uh, cucl in this case if we if i use hcl i'll be getting bromobenzene and this reaction is now called yes ketterman reaction that means if i use hbr here i'll be getting bromobenzene and cu br so it's understood so these are the two basic reactions okay apart from this uh let's say i have same uh, disonium salt and if i react it with ki i get aldobenzene okay if i react it with h b f4 i get fluorobenzene uh, okay and followed by heat and if i react the same compound with uh, h3po4 and water i get benzene if i react it simply with water i'll be getting phenol okay and if i just reacted with h b a4 followed by heating with na no2 and copper i'll be getting nitrobenzene okay and if i react this compound with let's say phenol in the presence of acid or base i'll be getting a special type of compound uh, it would be double bond oh and this is an orange color dye that is para hydro hydroxy azo benzene okay and this reaction is called azo dye formation fine so these were a uh, few common reaction of disonium salt stay tuned for more videos on physical organic and inorganic chemistry and don't forget to subscribe